Shockwave came back here once again. He said the video. Did Epo use the Duchu Demtero too much? Did Epo rely too much on his ultimate weapon? That is the question of today. Because in my opinion, there are certain times he did and certain times he did. Because especially early in the series of Epo that first developed the Demtero, after the Demtero failed, there wasn't too much of a plan after that, really. Especially against guys like Sam Bukuru or Sam Moore. As soon as the Demtero failed, it was just Epo taking a beating after that. Which gave us one of the greatest moments of Hajj Epo we ever had was Simbukuro lifting Epo off his feet because of the pure physical power of this man. But yeah, I do believe at a certain period of time that Epo did rely too much on a Dempsey Road. And it's just to the point where some people might say, Oh, he, he might have relied on it too much, but that's the only thing. No. When Epo came up with the Dempsey Road, it changed his entire fighting style entirely. Epo stopped being horizontally vertical, he started just being purely horizontal. Some people might say, What do you mean? Early Epo, Rookie King Epo, and somewhat towards the Sim Booker or Epo. Epo used to throw out heavy hooks, liberal blows with an uppercut, and most importantly, the uppercut. He had laterally, he had he was able to move in multiple different ways. It wasn't just left, right, left, right, hook combination. It wasn't just liver blow, liver blow, and maybe luckily hit a right hand, like he did against Gonzalez. He had multiple options, even with the gazelle punches, things like that. After a period of time, just overall, he just stopped using it. And it's not like a case with Sendo where Epo fighting style can't fight ranged fighters. And some people say, oh, Sendo just got no type of fighting style, he just gets beat. That's this just been Sendo. Like, since the earliest episodes, it has been revealed by Kuo, Gama, and everybody. Sendo just don't have a good guard. More or less, you can argue he don't really too much care about it. Unless it's in a die situation where you pull out the, for the cross arm guard. But besides from that, Sendo is more than willing to just get beat. It's just, it's just the way Sendo is. Against the range fighter, he's willing to, to take them jabs and just get beat. He did it against Sagetta. He did it against uh, Gonzalez. He did it against Jose. Mendoza. <laughs> he did it against Jose. Uh, <laughs> Jose Nargo. Is this something that Sendo does? But against Epo, Epo had multiple different weapons in his arsenal. But just besides the liberal blow, the uppercut, and the uh, it was like it was like the two-third uppercut that he did against Miata, or the ten-centimeter punch, was also another move that Epo used to have and used to use. Because he did it against Miata, and he he thought about using it against Sendo. He did, but later on, you see certain moves like that just disappear. Sendo actually got to fight range fighters a totally different way. Epo is extremely close range, can deal with both in fighters and out fighters. Sendo is purely mid range. With a weak, with a weak guard. And sometimes he's just throwing out punches. It, it, the logic of Sendo can only work for Sendo, not with Epo. But overall, I do believe that because some might say, Oh, Epo always lied too much on the Dempsey That's a lie. Because as soon as Sendo more put, bring, brought up the Dempsey Road counter, we had an entire, what, what like two, three fights where... It was like I was not going to use the Dempsey Road. Like I guess Core Solid were Epo's best performances where he did not use the Dempsey Road. Oh, it's Epo's best fight against Core Zawa. He didn't even use the Dempsey Road then. So what's, 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 what's some of you fools talking about? And no, this time I did not recently look on Reddit. It was just, I just thought it was video after recording the McGregor one. But uh, yeah, I do believe the Dempsey Road did change Epo's fighting style for the worse. He did become too horizontal. Now, when you think about it, when he's that horizontal, it would also affect the whole figure eight pattern. Have you guys ever wondered why that? Oh, when, when everybody thought about the new Dempsey Road from Takamura to Epo, people thought it would be that same figure eight motion, but going upwards with one singular circle. But when Core Gummer revealed, it's not just it's not just that. Think of it di diagonally, diagonally, and then you set up version of the Dempsey Road because the new Dempsey Road is going to implement both uppercuts and left and right hooks. So, and doing this will not only change up his uh, figure eight motion to a better eight motion, but at this point you can call it a 12 eight motion. You'll improve Epo's fighting style overall. This is what the new Dempsey Road is, in my opinion, is so intimental to Epo because you finally be able to use the Dempsey Road as a feint. Oh, but I guess Kurosawa, you could say that was a good, that was a feint. No, there, there was no feint with Kurosawa. Kurosawa just thought it was coming, and that was the only thing he was prepared for, really. Besides from taking the liver blood, he couldn't properly take to the body. That was it. So, and, <laughs> since he never has been able to use it as a feint, since really with Kazet, let's see, Epo's fighting style changed entirely, which we had at least, what, what 
the Gonzalez fight and the Antonio fight just to bring Epo back to he was into a more evolved, better version of his earlier self. But even then, that wasn't good enough because, of course, Epo, Dimshiro, Dimshiro, Dimshiro. Because there's a times where Epo wanted to do use of Dimshiro, there's a time against Gonzalez where he actually unleashed it. Another thing, so it's not like Epo spent his entire career like, I want to use a Dimshiro on every fight because there was an entire arc, a few arcs where he chose not to use it. He didn't use it against Michael. He didn't use it against uh, Jim, like a few other people. He didn't use it against them either. So I will admit, there was a time where Epo was foolish. And then he stopped being that foolish. And then he re-became foolish, because you know. He believed, he, I, I don't know, is that Epo's mentality of the belief that he was punch drunk? Or that this could be his last fight? Because before that whole, the end of round four, before that moment, he was still in the fight. He still believed that he could still fight after this until the whole round four happened. And that killed that idea. Uh, so it is what it is with that. But, uh, eh. in my opinion overall, is this more or less a proven fact that Epo was relying on a Dempsey too much in a certain way. But as soon as Epo is able to use a proper Dempsey Roll feint, there will be no real Dempsey Roll counter at all too much. Some might say why? Because you can't counter something that you can't really predict. The main reason why other characters like that one guy Epo knocked out before Takamura fought Brian Hawk, uh, some Bukuru, and some more, they could all see the Dempsey Roll when it was about to start up. And when it started up, it became predictable. And when it became predictable, Miyata was over there licking his chops, just like, yeah. Yeah, he, like, Miata, you gotta admit, Miata is not as, 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 as unweird as Epo is, because he sat there and just like, yeah, Miata, be, yeah, yeah, so I'm more beat on him, yeah, beat on him, yeah, 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 that this is what you came here for, Miata, just to watch Epo get beat, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Epo is not the only unusual specimen in that group, it's, it's just that they're, they're more similar, they're not exactly the same, but it's just, it's like a cat and a dog, which is ironic how Miata got a, cat and Epo has a dog that's uh, very young it, 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 it's similar to those two they're both pets they both do similar things but overall they're not the exact same species here like how Epo's a hot puncher and Miata is more of like a cat he's more agile got more speed got more uh, more weapons on on the foot front but Epo got the, the, the main one the main biting force that in your career, so did it a lot similar to that. Do you think there? But uh, overall, of course, the question is: in certain times in Epo career, he did use a Dimshiro too much. I wish I could remember the entire list of fighters, <laughs> but I really can't. Well, was, was it, uh, yeah, I think it, I think it gives it to Kai didn't use the Dimshiro against him either. I think he tried. It. Yeah, he tried to, but he, he really couldn't get it started up properly. So Dan just relied on to. This, this zombie man won't go down. We gotta beat him. We gotta, you gotta keep beat him on an Epo. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him, beat him some more. Beat him some more. <sighs> but uh, yeah, overall, I, I still find it sad that they cut up most of the character development with some Bukuro inside the, uh, inside season three. I don't see why we couldn't just get one to two more episodes. And shit, it, I mean, I mean, up here, I don't think it, it would have ruined the hype. You would do what Epo always have done throughout the manga. You gotta hype up the the opponent, then you you beat him like a pinata. You just don't go in there raw and just and just show him. And this is like all the killer development and that whole thing about the sea man don't really mean anything, especially the fact that they cut out the entire way and he just you couldn't give something more. That wouldn't have took us no more than like a few minutes of character development for some Brooker. Now he just shows up in new chapter. It does pick up well from the last season since Epo was going to deep training, but he didn't have a fight then, so he was just trying to. Evolved and heart in the dim show. That was it. So <laughs> What can you do? What can you do? But uh, yeah overall I Am predicting that this new versions Epo the new the better Epo would be able to better intimate the uppercut the 10 centimeter punch The gazelle punch and everything else everything everybody Epo has learned up to this point with the liver blow and everything Will be more refined and more put to use and better able to be able to use since he will be able to faint to that with his weaving you don't know what a Dempsey Roll coming or not. Or if you use the Dempsey Roll the entire match or not. The Dempsey Roll feint would be one of the most broken moves people would ever see. After seeing that, I'm going to use the dip. Let's say if Epo was a trans talker, it would work out perfectly. The entire night, I'm going to use the Dempsey Roll. The entire night, Dempsey Roll feint. Dempsey Roll feint. Gazelle put Dempsey Roll feint. Uppercut. Dempsey Roll feint. This and that. Uh, it would be perfect. It would be excellent. And I still believe the Dempsey Roll feint would be a thing. 
Because it has been built up that multiple characters, even Kurosawa, has, has been waiting for the Dempsero. Miata was interested purely in the breaking of Dempsero. And if Ippo was able to infant the Dempsero fate against Miata and cause Miata to throw out a false counter, he can't stop that. Miata can't do that. He, he, he can't stop. He's not that much of a machine. He's not that much of a beast to be able to stop Ippo from doing that, in my opinion. So, it will be interesting. It will be a excellent turn of events. It would be, in my opinion, amazing to see the Dempsero faint and other things. But hey, this is my thoughts. It depends about it. Or things like that. Because I do believe that Epo was at Peter's time. Especially at the end of his career, using the Dempsero too much. Because at least against Antonio, it was just like, alright. There's there's really nothing left after that. Which it is a major problem with Epo. When his main weapon fails, he, he don't really have anything else to fall back on. Really. At all. There's, so he still has the drive to continue on, but it's mainly just like, especially against Gonzalez, which is a perfect example. When the Dempsero failed, there was no plan after that. Plan after the Dempsero failed. It just failed, and that was it. Same thing with several more. Same thing with some Bukuru. Is just, are we either going to have endurance or with, with uh, several more, the anti Dempsero, which is something Epo was already working on, so. Well, I could use it two times, Epo. Nope, I'm gonna wear my legs out. Get him like, <laughs> go ahead and let that Roy Jones footage where it's just like, it's time to go running on these bald and knees. And they start playing that music. Now, I didn't think it was personally funny to see Roy Jones out there running. Because, uh, you see this man, obviously, his best years in the sport has gone beyond him. But he's trying to fight Mike Tyson. And whether he's running awkwardly or not, whether his knees are messed up or not, at least he's trying. He's trying better than most people in the world. He would just sit there and make up excuses. So I'll give him that. I, I'll give him that. Maybe just a me type of thing. I, I, I didn't find it funny to make fun of Roy. Because he was trying. And he was doing his best. And his knees are already messed up. So it's not like he'd be able to run too well anyway. And some people say, oh, oh, Roy Jones' legs were shot. I couldn't tell in that fight. Maybe I'm the one who's blind. But his legs looks pretty good to me. Past his golden years, but it's not like Mike Tyson is going, oh, oh, the first six, nine rounds, oh, just taking no type of damage, look at that bob you can weave, and so it's just like, how come Roy Jones get all this criticism, but Mike Tyson doesn't? I'm not even a big Roy Jones fan, which is the most concerning part about it. But we I can see that, so, it is, it is that. So, it is what it is with that. So, is what it is. I don't know if you got thoughts of the pants. How do you believe Epo will get over this problem of being too relied on with the Dempsero? Do you believe this is a problem they can get over? In my opinion, he can. And I would still infinitely believe that the new Dempsero is the key to uh, getting the best version of Epo, getting the true wind god in his perfect form, and his final transformation. He's his, his, his final labor from his final labor. Just thought of Hercules for some reason. His final labor to become the ultimate boxing machine. Because every fighter reached a point where there's not really too much more improvements they can really do to their style aside from hearting some things or figuring out their opponent. And I believe after that whole new Dimtro thing, that'll be Epo's point. You'll be alright, if you're gonna fight Epo, you're gonna try to beat his style. Similar to how Rod Jones where he would check somebody with his right hand. And that was just to be where it goes. It was just part of his fighting style at a certain period of time. If you get, if you could get past it, you can get past it. If you couldn't, you could. So, it is what it is with that. Cause what would Epo return? I don't know. I'd be coming. It might not because is it gonna be another video of a bad case of the I'm not really all in it, and maybe the dialogue would change that. Cause I didn't see the spoilers. Inside it, got it. Cause I got posted a chapter. It's like there's a new chapter. Yeah, it's a new chapter. And I just watched the later half of the fight since it was translated into Spanish. And it's just, I'm not interested in seeing Keith Dragon go in Southpaw. I'm just not. Just we could have been got past this point already. It's just, to me, it's not anything. Maybe when I reread the fight, it'll be better. Cause I did give the Gonzalez fight that same liberty. I reread the fight and thought it was better. Cause one moment, where did stuff coming from? I reread the fight and there it was. So maybe I need to give the cute dragon fight the, the same liberty. But I don't know. I'm, I'm suspicious of that. I'm, I'm suspicious. Man. Maybe maybe it's wrong for me to be like that. But I don't know. I don't think it's the EPO problem. I just think it's, it's the direction of the fight. Uh, eventually he was going to end up having a fight like this anyway. Because uh, not, not every fight can be a fast star masterpiece. But it's just... Uh, uh, Maybe it might be able to redeem itself. Maybe it won't. 
who knows? Who knows truly? Bay. Oh, they wish it was better. Do you believe Epo relied on Diptro too much? What do you believe would be the solution to Epo becoming better? Do you believe that there need to be some type of brand new tactic, some type of brand new unstoppable technique? Or do you believe that he was never too relied on the Diptro at all? It's more or less up to you. And knowing boys and girls is after the battle. So. If you're sorry, can you guys like the video? Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, peace. I believe that's it. Is it? Yeah, that's just more. That's pretty much it. There's, that's not really too much to talk about. Adios.